KKL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. We live south of Route 30, had a, maybe a little bit of rain this late afternoon and through the evening hours. You see the storms kind of tracked right along Route 30 and to the south. That's where there was mainly some rain, nothing real heavy, although a few spots in southern York County, maybe upwards of a, uh, an inch in some of those downpours. We could certainly use some of that rain. Looking live right now on our Carlisle Skycam. Things are just kind of muggy out there. In fact, skies have cleared out in some neighborhoods. 79 in Carlisle, dew point of 73. Whenever it's above that 70 mark, it is pretty sultry out there. Light west wind. So overnight, I do expect maybe a little haze or fog to form. It's going to be muggy. Could still be an isolated shower, maybe even a thunder shower. A haze and fog may be around early tomorrow. Otherwise, uh, clouds and sun, a warm, humid morning. And then I think tomorrow afternoon we'll get back up in above 90 degrees. We've had five in a row. That'll make six. Hot, humid day with maybe a few more thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. And some of those could get a little heavier. I'll show you why coming up here in a second. In the meantime, look at these dew points. Back in the 70s, they actually dropped this morning. If you're watching Christine during the morning uh, newscast, she was just showing you two points in the low to mid 60s, which still, you know, it's a uh, sticky for summertime, but it was feeling a lot better than these low to mid 70s. Now temperatures, some spots like the capital at 81 degrees, others in the mid 70s, lots more 70s back over the Great Lakes. There is some cooler air there and right between that steamy air and that cooler air. There is a frontal boundary. Now, that moisture from the flooding down Louisiana, not making it here, but there is a disturbance back over St. Louis. You can see this little curve in the clouds there. That area of low pressure is going to track to the north along this front, and that could not only bring in more warm, humid air tomorrow around the Bermuda High, but it also, I think, could spark some thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. So these, they're tracking away from us through the overnight. A few could come back up north of the mountains. Uh, but I think a few go off to our north and west, too. And then we quickly get up into the 90s tomorrow afternoon. That's when we'll start popping some hit and miss thunderstorms. The front will probably get here during the overnight hours. Could be a few more showers tomorrow night, maybe even a thunder shower. Can't rule one or two out during the day on Wednesday. But I think the, pro the thing you'll feel is northerly winds just slicing the humidity down a little bit. It's not until the end of the weekend. I really think we start to get a little bit of uh, relief from this heat and humidity. But tomorrow there is a possibility, especially north of the turnpike, of some maybe heavier storms. And 90s tomorrow. Then we're in the mid 80s to upper 80s, but a little less humidity. Again, a, a shower or storm can't be ruled out on Wednesday. Sticky day with, again, a, a possibility of a shower or storm on Thursday. Heat it up again Friday into Saturday before a stronger front appears to come on Sunday. And that could bring some cooling the early part of next week. Good week down to shore, too. Uh, temperatures in the 80s to near 90 degrees. Again, just some hit and miss showers and storms. Storms don't seem to want to make it all the way down to shore. Chesapeake Bay tomorrow, wave heights right around the foot. Could be a thunderstorm. They are talking about maybe even a small craft advisory tomorrow night if some of those storms get heavier. So, okay. All right. Thank you, Thank Joe. You,